Going to do a little bit of pier fishing down in Hastings today. It's just nice to have a little bit easier fishing. Uh, we're going for a nice flat platform of Hastings Pier. Venue's reopened. And you can see why piers are such a good place to fish really, other than the platform above is a lot easier. Uh, they provide all these pilings, provide a good sort of harbour for the prawns and shrimps and other small fish that the fish we want to catch rely on. And obviously you're getting out into some deeper water as well. We're actually fishing the ebb tide here. I don't quite know best tide to fish Hastings Pier, whether it's flood or ebb. I have the sunglasses on but it's a little bit windy <laughs> the sun's coming in and out here at Hastings Pier I've tucked myself down a little bit uh, behind these beach huts out of the wind because the wind's coming across from the southwest there uh, and I think when we get fishing you might struggle to hear me uh, let's hope the fishing is good enough anyway so obviously you're sharing the pier with other people here it's like a big wide open expanse but the new pier management seems to be on top of things. There's even a bucket of water just to keep things clean. Okay, so I've tucked myself down now, uh, right down next to the tackle box, just to get out of the wind. Uh, we're going to put a three hook flapper as usual uh, on the sort of the match rod, the um, Continental. Uh, three size uh, one hooks on that one. Uh, that's a three hook flapper we're going to put on there with a worm. Just drop that mackerel down, it hasn't got a head. That's because we're using it on a big 5 0 hook down amongst those pier pilings. So let's get this one in because ideally I'd want a live bait. Uh, down the bottom there for bass and conger. And this wind is it's really hard to fish in, but it's more difficult to um, film in as well. So as you can see, most people have got their back to the wind, which is sensible uh, for angling. However, I wanted to be a bit different, always a bit different on the Saltwater Angler channel. Um, I'm just going to punch into the wind here, gives us a bit of space to do some filming. Uh, and it will trot that bait underneath the pier. Probably just live baiting for them, to be honest. But... The wind's ferocious. <laughs> Still, at least you can say we're not fair weathered anglers. Because these have been gutted, they're quite easy to put on the hook. Using the brilliant slosh, just keeps on going this reel. If you want to take a look at some of the other Hastings Pier videos we've done, it's all on the channel. Just nice to have this pier open again and closed for so long. certainly spending a lot of time in the box because you don't want to lose loads of the little bits of uh, terminal tackle um, you could easily lose all this stuff down underneath okay Let's shut this up I think <laughs> trying to get out of the wind Uh, I'm just going to fill it this sharp knife. That's 
going to be the tail of the bait and I'm just going to wrap the squid on. The squid is almost unfrozen but it has been frozen. Just going to wrap this over three or four times. Take it over the eye of the hook there and then a little bit like that and all I'm going to do is wrap that up about a million times. Just want to make sure there's lots of that gape showing. A little bit tricky to fish off the end there for obvious reasons. So it's been very quiet. Uh, what I'm waiting for now is of course darkness. And also with that tide, I'll just fish the top of the tide down. Once it starts moving, I do like it when there's a bit more movement in the tide. Good thing is you can fish appear into darkness. Um, which does open up a lot better fishing uh, although they don't do overnight fishing but certainly come sort of September I'm hoping that that'll be a lot better with the more darker hours spent on here this is the spot actually favored by three of the locals that fish here a lot so sometimes feel like I need permission from them <laughs> just a wide open space isn't it but you'll have to let us know if you fish tastings pier so I don't know too much about how to fish it a quick toilet break and just as I was walking off, I got whistled by uh, a kind member of the public who said he saw Thank my rod bouncing up and down. It's the oh, first yeah. time I'd left it, and that was the first <laughs> significant bite I had. It's typical, isn't it? Yeah, it's possibly an eel. Oh, yeah. So there we go, still a protected species of silver eel and they do need to go back much to this gentleman's disappointment. <laughs> We need some jelly deals, I think. Yeah, you're not meant to keep them anymore. No? That's a good size. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the frame. You're in the frame. Yeah, it's all in yeah. the frame. The sides of it and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So this rod here, we've just got dropped down by the pier pilings for a conga. It's swelling a little bit up and down there. I think that's just the uh, the swell, obviously. What we're looking for, of course, is that rattle. Fingers crossed for a conga. I don't think anything else will take that. Even a silver eel, a big one, um, might not even be able to gobble that 5-0 up, as greedy as they are. Something nibbling on that big squid bait. I'm not sure it's big enough to gobble it all down though, so it's nothing too exciting at the moment. I'll keep a little eye on that because sometimes even the conga bites can be a little... Always get a little bit more optimistic as the sun goes down. I oh, see now there's a knock on that rod. You see it? Little taps on there. But... It's a big old bait, it could be anything on there, nibbling away. And then with the other rod, this red rod here, it's got a light on the tip there. Still got three hook flapper on. And now we're really hoping for a pouting, a nice sized pouting. I 
I've set the drag on this is quite useful at night just to hear the click because obviously you haven't got your eyes on the rod tips like you would in the daytime so much just handy to have that set up so you keep it nice and tight keep it on the free spool but obviously have the ratchet on close together it's just a little bit easier to see in the darkness uh, you're just looking in one single place or one right underneath and the other one out at a reasonable distance now without hooking themselves so I'm gonna go and see if I can feel it on there absolutely nothing <laughs> Don't even know what was going on about. So if you want to have a little look at uh, other fish that have been caught on Hastings Pier, we've got these three videos here as well that will um, show some more fish being caught. Not one for loads of fish today. I do apologise for that. But uh, we didn't blank and not a bad little introduction to fishing into darkness on the pier.